Hi. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the background image of a form using the resources. We'll first start off with a new project, a form application. I'm going to call it Resources and Backgrounds. And what I'd like to do is put a background image here. That's done easily enough. You scroll over to the properties, change the background image by clicking on this button here. And there are two ways to do it. You can load a local resource by importing an image from your PC, which is fine if your program runs only on your PC at home. If you ever change computers, that local resource will probably not be there. I really recommend that you do that you use the resources for the project. This is a folder that travels with your application. So if you put music or uh, images or icons, then those things follow your project whenever you publish it. And it's certainly the way to go. It's it's a great way of handling all the files that come uh, with with your program. So I'm going to press the import button. And here are some little folder that I have created. These images of, uh, are the background images for the Windows 7 operating system. I've taken those and resized them. This is the original and this is one that's about 12 percent of the original size. I just resized them for our purposes today for this uh, tutorial. So I'm going to choose one, say this guy here, and open it. And notice that that image is tiled uh, on the background. That's because the background image layout property, uh, the default, is tile. We can change it to none and have it on the top left hand corner. We can change that to center. Stretch. Now notice if I stretch this uh, and it's, your form is, is rather large, then um, that low resolution image that I'm using is pretty poor. You would want to use the high res um, image. And then zoom acts a little differently. You, can, you, you may not be able to tell. I can change this back color to that green so you can see that my, that my back green, background color, that green color bleeds through. You can also tell that whenever you change the window uh, or change the, the form size that you get a flash of green through there. So I'm going to put this back to center and let's say that you would like to create a, an application that uses the form sort of as a frame for this background image. And So if you run it, it looks pretty nice, but when the user stretches it, it doesn't look so nice, and certainly whenever they press the max button, it looks kind of silly. You can fix that two ways. If you scroll down, you can choose the form border style, and the default is sizable, which means the user can resize the form. Here, you can make it fix single or fix 3D, for example, make it look uh, that 3D gives it kind of a, an inset look. So if you run it, lo and behold, the user can no longer stretch the, the corner, but the max button is still in play. You can change that max button by clicking on the maximize box, changing that from true to false. Now if we run it, the max button is still there. It is just grayed out. It's, it's become unusable and you can no longer click it. So that's one way of using resources, but perhaps the best way is to know what images and sounds you would like to put into your project at the very beginning and in import all of the resources all at once. The way to do this is to click on the project button or the project menu uh, option and go down to resources and backgrounds properties. 
We've been here before, where we've changed the icon for our project. But now we want to go to Resources tab. And notice this is that small image that we inserted manually a few minutes ago. So to efficiently add all of the images we'd like to for this project, let's go to the Windows Explorer. And this is a folder that has my images. Um, notice this is a large high resolution um, version. This is a smaller version, uh, only about 230 pixels wide, about 12% that of the large uh, resolution. And again, I just made it smaller for this demonstration. I can sort here by the size, which puts all the small ones at the bottom. And it's just these little guys that I want. And of course, I already have 13, so I'll uncheck that one. Now, all we have to do is drag these right into here. And you could also put any um, audio files here or icon files that you'd like. Notice in our Solution Explorer window, our resources now has all of the images that we want. And also notice that the names don't have any spaces. Windows doesn't like it when you do that, or at least VB.net doesn't like it when you do that. So I'll put the little underscore there. Okay, so now if we go back to the design window and choose a new icon for our background image, all of our images are here. And there you go. Well, this concludes this part of the tutorial. Our next one, we're going to add images using buttons. Thanks for watching.